Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 66 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a little cosmetic thing you could do with Lightroom. What I'm talking about is on most of the modules, they have panels, left panel, right panel, and at the bottom of the panel, you could put a little design there. Now, in this case, I have what they call a flourish, specifically a small flourish, and that's an option you could use in Lightroom. What this episode is really about though is you could personalize this and put anything you want there and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I'm using a Mac so I want to open preferences in Lightroom on my Mac. I would go up to the Lightroom menu at the top. If you have a PC you would go to the edit menu and what you want to look for is preferences. So we're going to open preferences and what we want to do is we want to move over to the interface tab right there and you could see Right here at the top, we have end marks, and I have a small flourish. Now, by default, there's nothing there, so you might have nothing there. But what I want to show you is you could create your own logo or your own design and put it in there. And let me say off the top, I'm not a graphic artist, so these look really bad. So I created three just to show you. I called it Logo 1 for one of them. We're going to click on that. And you can see I have Learn Photography with Anthony Morganti. And you can see that is right there, pretty bad. The second one I created is Logo2.png. And you can see that one I used, I made color, just so you could see what a color logo might look like there. And the third one, and the one I like the best, is just Images by Anthony Morganti. So I have that there. So what you would do is you would use... a program like Photoshop or something like that and you would create a logo for yourself and you'd like to save it as a .png file and the reason why you'd like to use a .png file is it preserves the transparency if I didn't have a, if I made this a JPEG it would be a white background probably so I, I prefer that it be transparent and that it looks better when it's on these panels so you would do that so you would create the logo in a program like Photoshop, make sure you save it as a .png. Now to get them in Lightroom, what you need to do is you go through the Preferences, the Interface tab, you open up this tab, and at the bottom it says to go to Panel, N Marks Folder. Click on that, and in my case because I have a Mac, Finder opens up and it will have that folder highlighted. If you have a PC, uh, Windows Explorer will will open up and it will highlight that folder. Just open that folder and you can see I have those logos in there. What you want to do is drag any logo you created into this folder. Once it's in the folder, close down um, Windows Explorer and or Mac Finder. Then close down your preferences. Then you need to shut down Lightroom or close down Lightroom, restart Lightroom then go back to preferences and you will see that they're in there and you could choose them. Now you have to make it uh, a size that will fit because Lightroom will not resize the image file to fit these panels. And what I found is between 200 and 300 pixels in width works fine. So do the appropriate um, length or you know height of the image you know also but 200 to 300 pixels in width the width is most important you want it to fit in these panels so it depends you know that will depend on the resolution of your monitor too and also how big your panels actually are because you could change the width of these panels like that so um, between 200 and 300 pixels in width you might have to experiment a little bit and you'll be able to get that logo to look nice and fit in those panels and it will be in all the modules that have these you can see I, flop, I flipped over to the develop module and it's there. I could go to the map module and it's there and so on. So all the modules will have your logo there. So give that a try. You could personalize Lightroom for you. And that's it for this episode. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.